What is going on guys? I'm J1205 and I'm here tired from getting all the bags out. Today I'm going to be unboxing the P Bandai High Grade TR1 Hisense Lay Raw 2. Now, this thing fundamentally it's basically the same as the one that I previously reviewed, the Hisense Lay. Yeah, just the Hisense Lay, the TR1 Hisense Lay. But this thing has a different color scheme, different V fins, some different armaments on the back, and you have two more, unfortunately, but fortunately, who do do two units, seriously. Like, I now regret buying so many of the damn things. Like, I have an excess of who do do two binders. Obviously, this is a P Bandai kit, so monochrome box. It's still not as thick of a box as the TR6 Heisen Play 2 Raw. So I don't think I'm going to be keeping this around for storage, but then again, it's thicker than the one that came in the Real Grey Unicorn Gun of Perfectibility. So maybe, maybe not. I'm going to make my decision later on. But anyways, this thing comes with a ton of plates. So, most of which you've seen before, this is the A plate of the Hazel, and then here you have what is a preview of the Hazel, the Hazel Ausla, that is going to be coming later in 2021, with blue pieces, replacing the white pieces of the Primrose. And you, of course, do get an extra cannon, extra missile pod, all that kind of stuff, but you don't get the cannon cap, so yeah, you're bad luck. But, you do get... And this is the uh, this is the tricky part. Here we have two B plates. What for, you may ask? Well, the white one is implemented for these two pieces only. So it's the so it's basically the situation of the shining brick where you need a different colored piece, so you reprint the entire plate for that piece. But anyways, here we have another B place from the Primrose. This is nothing too different. Actually, it's identical to the one that came before it. And then we have the C plate over here, which is basically the one that came in the Advanced Hazel. And then we have the C2 plates, basically for the tops of the Composite Shield Boosters. Yet again, I've built so many of these things before, so I'm <laughs> starting to get a little bit tired about these things. But anyways, that more jokingly than seriously tired, so don't take that in the wrong direction. But anyways, here you have the D-plate, which is basically the joints from the original Hazel, so you still get the original hands that you have enough hand covers for to fully utilize. There you have it there, and then we have the E-plate, I'm trying to remember my alphabet here, the E-plate does come with now, this extra section over here for the extra composite shield booster and the cannons and all that kind of good stuff. And you do have the Heisenplay TR1 helmet on the other side and you do have the new basket to implement the new back mechanics. Now unfortunately though, from what I know, you do not get the new mechanics in the upcoming version of the TR1. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Next up, we have the F plate. So we have F1 and F2. So apparently, the Phallic subbar on the back is not going to be functional, just as I anticipated. So maybe is maybe there is a way to retrofit the ones from the TR6 onto this one, so you can get a Phallic-looking object sticking out from the back, which is nice. But that's not all. We do have. F3 and F4. So you do have the new like extensions and the shark head that's supposed to go on the back and of course the new chest plate. Thank you very much. And now we move on to the G plates. So the G plates over here does come with all of the inner mechanics for the joints. Nothing you haven't seen before. And the H plate you just get a duplicate this time because you do get two composite shield boosters. And then, what is after H? I. I is after H. So here we have the I1 plate for the, the only separate red plate. And then here we have the I1 plate. Oh, this is the I2 plate. My bad. So I1, I2. I2 is the only 
a separate rare piece, I can't speak there, but I won. You do have the original Hyacinth Way V fin, but you also do get the Rolls Royce V fin, as I like to call it, because yeah, this is an angel. So yeah, it's not as detailed though as a lot of people will have liked, because some of the resin conversion kits do have really detailed Rolls Royce V fins for the TR6. But seeing as they're making this for the TR1, it's only a matter of time before they actually have a retrofit version for the TR6. But the TR6 has started to run out of sensible variants. I wonder if they're going to be making the Rolls Royce even for the uh, TR6. What version are they going to make? Queenly? Maybe. Just maybe the Queenly. Or maybe the Dandelion, I don't know. But anyways... Let's move on to the uh, painful part of this unboxing, which is the Hurudu 2 binder. So, of course, here we have two XA plates, so a ton of leftover adapters, and you can build quite a bit of Primrose 2s. Not that I don't have enough already. I really, really, really regret buying <laughs> three damn Hurudu 2 units, Hurudu 2 units. Having a fourth from the TR6 Heisen Play 2 Raw, and now having two more from this goddamn kit. That is a waste of an investment. Now, the XB plates. <laughs> you get four of these damn things. So, extra subarms, well, you can use them on the binders, not that you, you need to use them on the TR1. And you do get a lot of Woundward Raw. Conversion pieces. I wonder what you're gonna do with those if you actually hate the Wounded Rock configuration like I do. And then here we have the XC1 place, so yeah, more pieces for the Primrose 2. And the caps of the binders. And we have the XC2 place for more of that stuff that is basically just a crop out on the top plate. And then finally, here we have the laughing plate, the XD plate. Four of these damn things, in fact. So, there is gonna be a lot of hoo doo hoo doo hoo doo 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 doos Anyways, now we have some more of these old polycaps, so hopefully there is gonna be some left. And then here we have some peel-off decals, unfortunately. And then finally, here we have the Heisenfly Raw 2 sticker sheet. Basically, the one that came in the original TR1 Heisenfly, but with two more of these Composite Shield Booster stickers. Now, seeing as I won't be painting this kit specifically, I will possibly try to use these stickers, but I'm not too sure. It depends on what I think about the Rolls Royce V-Fin. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for plates, so let me clear the stage and take a look at the, as usual, dull instruction manual. So of course you have the name up here, warnings, what not to do, the parts comes in the back, you have the key right here and the color guide with the For Japan News Only Order sheet. And you have the guide over here, the parts count. There are two types of A parts. Check the name when assembling. And it's just, oh my god. I seriously cannot stand the sight of the entire plate being crossed off but the two parts. But then again, there's the shining break. Anyways, this is a booklet, so thank god I don't need to just stretch out an instruction manual the length of the table, so that's good. Anyways, first of all, we start off with the torso. I think you do have custom adapters to plug the... Apparently not, you don't have custom adapters, I don't think. I don't know, this is a new construction, so yeah, plug on the binders of the... Uh, of the... what is it called? The Hurudu 2s? Already forgot the name, somehow. You have the head, so you can plug on the Rolls Royce V-Fin, or if you so fancy, you can revert it back to the original V-Fin. Depends on your choice. And then you do have the, of course, the arms, and then the binders. Build four sets of these goddamn things. I'm tired of these, <laughs> jokingly. And you do move on to the shoulders. And finally, the top body is complete. And then moving on to the feet, I'm loving these extensions. And then we do have the legs. 
Moving on down, we have the waist. You do have some custom adapters that take up the space of the ammo cartridge storage points to plug on the Hrududu 2 binders, which is all right. It's going to clutter up the entire thing, but at least this form is more manageable than the Hazel Ra second form because that thing broke the waist peg of one of my Hazels. But anyways, here we go. The backpack, I don't think you can actually retrofit the what is it retrofit the crotch piece of the tr6 but then again it's a hole into a peg so there may be some hope i'm not sure i'm gonna do some testing later on because i do have some of those peg to peg adapters god knows how many i have but anyways here we have the rest of the construction of the backpack and then, oh my god, <laughs> this is going to be the tedious part. More composite shield boosters. And the uh, and the basic weaponry, not that you really need them. And finally, the decal guide. I'm not going to bring the parts back in, but this is going to wrap it up for the uh, TR1 Heisenfly Raw 2 unboxing. I know, a lot of identical parts, but I'm just making jokes here and there, so that's why I dried it out to like 13 minutes long. So, that's going to wrap it up. I'm not going to stream the build because this is going to be tedious. I don't want you guys to um, to see my bad side from frust being frustrated over having to build the same damn thing again. But ultimately, it's the final product I'm looking forward to. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much for watching. And tell me in the comments below what you think of the Heisenfly Raw 2. Tell me which form you prefer, the original TR1 Heisenfly or this one and anything you have to say about this kit. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.